and next week we will be in New Zealand. Hi guys, my name is Shayla and I make these videos every Wednesday. I've been traveling full time since 2015 and I make these videos every Wednesday to give you tips about traveling, to inspire you, to tell you little stories along the way. And this Wednesday, I'm actually filming on Monday, so there's that. Today's our last day in Minnesota. We fly to San Francisco tomorrow on Tuesday and then we fly to New Zealand on Thursday. Thing number one, Seth has the flu, so I'm hoping that we're flying to San Francisco tomorrow. But this Wednesday, I wanna share with you what I'm packing for New Zealand. We're gonna be there for two months. People are asking, what are you packing, what are you packing? And I'm like, I don't know, and I have to like be more, I'm not that good at planning things. Like I probably wouldn't pack tonight until 10 o'clock at night, but I have to make this video, let's, let's still light out. So let's just get to it. So the first thing I wanna say is that I'm in my dad's house. This, he just moved here, and this is my room in the house, so that's why we're in just a blank, plain room. Also, this is just all of my stuff that I'm packing. Like, I don't really know how to organize it in like really nice, cute way. It's just in piles. A couple things that I've done recently is made outfits. Okay, so I've got these three pants, right? Some hiking khakis, jeans, and some green jeans. And I've got these two jean shorts. Those are the pant things that I'm wearing. So then I look at my tank tops and I go, okay. Oh, I really like this tank top. Which of these does it go with? It goes with... All of them, yes. There was one shirt in there that matched with like one or two things and I was like, not bringing this. Eh, four of the five. All of them, three and a half. This one I don't know if I should bring. It's kind of fancy. But like I feel like I should have something, fa actually I have a dress. I've got these dresses for something fancy. So I'm not bringing this. Moving on. These pajama pants, which are my favorite. They're just joggers, they're great. I can wear a sports bra if I'm hot, or if it's cold, I can bundle up a little bit. And then I have dresses. So I've got one, two, three dresses, and dresses are literally the best thing. It's one piece of clothing, and it's you look nice, and you're done. And if you follow me on Instagram, I did an Instagram story, and you voted for me to keep this, which I'm pretty excited about, I love it. Four yoga pants, all very plain, two black pair, green, two black pair. Not packing that. So now I've got, well, yes I am. Yes, I am going to pack that. Seth is a big workout guy. He wants to like get his fitness on, so we're gonna do that in New Zealand. Um, and I'm into it too, I'm getting into it. I like doing the yoga and the low key stuff. And he likes doing squats and stuff, which can only benefit me as well, so. Two black leggings are good in case one gets dirty and sweaty and we don't like wash the next day. And then two workout tops. Again, one's gonna get gross and I can wear the other one. A rain jacket because I guess it rains randomly in New Zealand. Two bathing suit bottoms, two bathing suit tops. I might leave this and go buy a different one at Target in San Francisco. And I bought this super cute kimono on clearance and I'm like too excited about it. This is full of underwear. I might count these. I probably only need about 10 underwear. We should probably do our laundry at least every week and a half. And when you run out of underwear, that's when you like are sort of forced to go to the laundromat. I have two, what are these called, bralettes, and about four or five sports bras. And then I have one normal bra. Let's be honest, I probably shouldn't pack it. Who wears normal bras ever? And I have the sticky bra, which was for that shirt that I just chucked, so. Now I have four sweatshirt things, and I just think that's a little bit much. I can't decide yet. We'll see how much space I have. This soda shirt, because Yes, yeah, soda, Minnesota. This really awesome, I don't know, athletic sweatshirt. This super cash Instagrammable sweatshirt. And just like a workout long sleeve in case, you know, we're up in the mountains and it's just cold, but we still want to go for a run. Or Seth is suggesting slash requiring us to do it. I really like it. I'm glad that he makes me do this. That was, that was one thing that I always wanted in somebody, somebody to push me like in the workout area. My kit of essential oils. Obviously my computer because I have to edit these things. As far as electronics go, the camera that I'm using, two lenses, this tripod thing, this gimbal, which is gonna give us really smooth footage, I'm really excited, should be worth the hassle of carrying this thing around. Then I have this little baggie full of an adapter for New Zealand, uh, an external hard drive, camera charger, 
extra SD cards, all sorts of electronic things. I've got this baseball cap for when I'm trying to feel pretty, but like in a sporty way. These greens, because when you're traveling, sometimes your stomach feels a little funky when you're not feeling so good or if you're just like, I just need some vitamins. I always like to bring an extra bag just to the beach or to have my planner so that I know what is going on in my life. These computer glasses, and if you're a digital nomad like I am, these glasses help with blue lights. Anybody who uses a computer knows exactly, without knowing what blue light is, knows what the computer does to you. Like you can't sleep, you get eye fatigue. So this brand is called Felix Gray. I'm telling you they're worth it. Oh, and then I have shoes. So I've got cute little sandals, hiking sandals, hiking shoes, workout shoes, chucks. That's a lot. I'm not even a shoe person. Let's do bathroom stuff. I think I'm not gonna bring this straightener. I just can't imagine. I was thinking for my videos, but honestly, my hair's wet right now because I just need to get it done. So I think I'm not gonna bring this or the, um, what is this called? Hairspray? Yeah, not happening. This is totally happening. One time I thought that I could get dry shampoo in a country and it was nowhere to be found. I will never make that mistake again. My mom told me that she doesn't own dry shampoo and I literally, I don't even understand how that's possible. An electric toothbrush? I need this, I don't know. It makes you feel different when you brush your teeth with it, but then you have to bring the charger. So it's kind of inconvenient, but my dentist is always impressed. Um, so, Lately, Seth has asked, why oh, your hair looks really good, but why does it look different? And I'm like, I've been brushing it lately. Lotion and hand sanitizer, that's in my purse, are absolute, absolute must. Hand sanitizer all over the airport, all over traveling. Sometimes you go to the bathroom and there's no hand, just, you just always need hand sanitizer. If, if you have a cut and you need a sanitizer, like there's a hand sanitizer and then lotion. Airports and airplanes are really dry, gross places, so. Uh, I've got this sweet retainer that I wear at night sometimes. Seth is really good about wearing his retainer, so I started wearing mine. Face lotion for the face. Deodorant. Tampons are not a common thing in a lot of countries. And a razor. And this one has two, so that should last me the two months because... I waxed my legs for forever, so my hair is really, 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 really fine. So you can like hardly tell. <laughs> Here are a couple little tips. This is for rolling out your muscles or your feet. This is for the airplane or if you're going to live in a van and you want to sleep past sunrise. I like to take lavender and put it right on here so that it, I smell it a little bit when this is on my face. I do that for Seth too. I'm sure he knows. This is a travel hack. Getting one of these or an extra long phone cable is super handy. This plugs into the wall in an airport or in a hostel and allows you to not have to sit by the wall. And this has three extra plugins so you can make some friends or you can charge three things. Baby wipes are crucial for the airport on a long flight. And in my layover, like we're flying to Fiji, in Fiji I will go into the bathroom, get completely undressed, baby wipe my whole body, and then put on my new set of clothes. You can buy the travel size, that's perfect, but when we live in the van, we're gonna go buy the things in New Zealand, so that's another thing. We're not packing a towel, because we're gonna buy a New Zealand. We're not packing shampoo and conditioner, because we're gonna buy a New Zealand. We're not packing a lot of the stuff that you don't need until you get to a place, because we don't wanna carry it with us. And these are also really handy. These are all like little bags, right? The clear ones are super nice, because you can see what's inside of them, but you can put underwear in these, or your socks in these, or, your bathroom stuff, this is just so much more handy than having your stuff all over the place. Emergency and little um, ginger candies. Ginger is really good for your stomach if it's not feeling very good. And emergency is just good to take. It's good to take when you're traveling. Last tip. This is how you get the maximum amount of clothing into your suitcase. You take something like pants, fold them in half maybe twice, and then fold them into little Burritos. Shirts are even easier. Try and fold it in as much as like a rectangle shape as you can. And then, instead of doing a circle, I try and do like, have it be sort of flat. Pro, 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 pro tip. If you're just doing a weekend trip and you already have all your outfits picked out and you're like, okay, I'm gonna wear these jeans with this shirt one day. Fold the shirt in half, line it up and this shirt the other day. I always try and go with like the 
waistband. So, then you roll that up all together so that you can just pull it out and know exactly what you have. There's your outfit. That makes it super duper simple. I'm gonna have this backpack for my laptop and for a lot of our electronics. This is Gregory because I love them. This is a day pack that we'll use once we're there, but this is gonna also be Seth's carry-on. My Gregory backpack, which I've had for years and absolutely love. I don't know why I'm so attached to it. I just saw Seth's new one and I was like, uber jealous. It has a million compartments. And then we're also gonna have the drone backpack. So we're gonna have five bags total. And once we get to New Zealand, we already have a van set up. So we're gonna go, probably go sleep in a hotel for a night or two just to get used to the time. Do any of you know YouTubers in New Zealand? I would love to do some sort of collaboration with a YouTuber while I'm there. I will be on Instagram throughout the whole trip. So you can see all the Instagram photos and me in this flowy dress. Instagram's for like the pretty photos and Instagram stories are for like what's actually going on. These Wednesday videos are the recap. Seth's Instagram is kind of his version of the trip, which is really cool. Yeah, I think that's it. I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, please leave them below. I will answer them. If you have any more tips about how to pack for a long extended trip, please leave them down below for everyone to see. That would be amazing. I'm gonna get all this stuff in my bag and we'll see you guys all next week. Thank you all so much for watching. Signing off from Minnesota. See you in New Zealand. Mwah.